I don't write to this music. Come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we'll be glad in it. Come on in, come on in. Hey, hey. No more settling. You can't settle. Yes, dreams and vision when you was a young child. We sorry. We're sorry, God. We're sorry. Okay, Tish, uh, I have a gentleman by the name of Marcus. He want us to pray for his business and his health. And then I have Miss uh Uh, you said business and health for Marcus. Uh huh. And then, um, can you pray for Vanessa, uh, Francis, Miss Vanessa Francis, for her uh, healing over her kidneys and her entire mm -hmm. health? Um, Miss Vanessa is one of my uh, well, I'm gonna say both of my daughters, uh daughter's best friend mom miss vanessa okay uh, and then miss uh sheree allen she want us to pray for uh her marriage to restore her marriage the right the right way and i'm glad that she spoke on that because you and i are ladies that are single and mm -hmm. we desire to be married and I just believe that the Holy Spirit always guide and he he directs us. I just believe that the Holy Spirit always guide he, and he, he directs he us into what it is that we want or what it is that we desire. So I believe if we cover marriages, mm -hmm. that God will cover our marriages. And being single, we have a relationship with God. Right. And that we're not going to let anybody come in and deter us from seeking God. Um, I know for me, for myself, you know, when looking back over my marriage, the things that I thought was right might have not been right in God's eyesight. So it allows me to look at things differently. It allows me to genuinely um, look unconditional. And my prayer has always been 
because somebody hurt, hurt me i don't want to hurt the person that i god connects me with and then god connected me with the right person and i'm doing the will of god i know that because i'm praying for somebody else marriage or i'm praying or interceding on somebody else's husband or i'm interceding on somebody else's son or i'm interceding on somebody else's uh uncle or grandfather i know god would do the same for me right I um i i think i thank god for allowing me to um ask you and you listen to the holy spirit and you allowed the holy spirit to use you on this platform and you know i'm big on this platform ain't about me it's about us helping somebody else because i know for a fact that somebody helped us and i know that we are under um under a, a mighty woman of god that walks in integrity that um if we are in a wrongful place that she will guide us and she'll give us scriptures on how to go forward um sometimes we have to look at ourselves and and, and in me looking at myself i used to always um down my husband. Oh, I don't need him. I got a job, and 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 that's not what the the Bible say. The Bible say that the man is the head, and we are his helpmate. So God is showing me, and He's teaching me that I'm the helpmate. I'm not the head, you know. Cause some some of some of us women don't know how to speak. Some of us women don't know how to take our rightfully place and then in that when we get corrected we get mad but it's the truth and you know sometimes the truth hurt but when you learn that and when you have been in that place you're able to correct yourself to to get ready to be prepared for who god has for you not who you want but who he has for you in i would say uh, uh sometimes we want but what we need what we need to go out and do the things that god is allowing us to do um i'm very grateful that i met you through prophetess stephanie i'm very grateful that you're sitting under her and you're you, you're your spirit is so sweet but you are you are god is elevating you he's moving you he's growing you and in that he's giving you the confidence and the boldness to do what it is that he's telling you to do and it doesn't matter what other people think or what other people say he's setting the platform for you um that word that you gave on sunday my god my god my god it just allow us to regroup re -look, redirect and look within ourselves on how to be who he's calling us to be who we are connected to who we uh who we helping because a lot of us say we helping somebody but we're really not a lot of us say that that we're walking with god but we envious because she on this platform and we not on that platform it's no competitive and that's what i really like i don't have to compete with you to know that you about god business i'm connected to you so if you elevate I'm going to elevate. And it don't matter where I'm at. I know that because I'm connected to you, I'm going to elevate. You Like an eagle fly, I'm going to fly just like the eagle fly because of who you connected with. Because I'm connected with you, I'm going to fly. So continue to allow God to use you. Continue to, to 
ask questions when you don't understand because sometimes mm -hmm. i don't understand and i'm always big on asking i'm gonna say like sonia said chief apostle stephanie uh bernstein i love her i love her i love her spirit i love that 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 she's a woman in integrity i love that she's the authentic mm -hmm. her i love mm -hmm. that that she don't she don't switch gears because uh things might not be going the way she wanted to go and i love the fact that she moves by the holy spirit i love the fact that 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 she covers us i love the fact that she pushes us to do what it is god is telling us to do i love the fact that she's a, a supporting she support us in 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 the things that a god is a allowing us to do i love the fact that we are connected as sisters yes, I, know. Sister I love the fact that how how she walked how she talked i love the fact that she's confident in who she is so that makes us confident in who we are because mm -hmm. when i first met her, i'm not gonna lie to nobody i was lost i was damaged I was wounded because I wanted it and I gravitated to how she walked, her characteristics, how she act, how she interact with her daughters. You know, it said it it it, it told me a lot. And I'm mm -hmm. not knowing her story when I'm when I met her. But because she gave me scriptures and she went biblical. Some people don't go biblical. Some people go out of their flesh. And that's one thing she has not done. She has not never came out of her flesh. And she might have wanted to come out of her flesh, but she never has. She said, biblically, get in your word and get in your word and learn your word for yourself. And I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful God allowed me to just cover me. I didn't understand the assignment when he gave it to me, but my obedience. And I understand it now because the attacks are trying to come, but I deny them. It won't work because he he will succeed. And, and if me covering somebody else's husband, me covering somebody else's kid, I know that what God would do for mine. And God been, he been on me about welling women. And, mm -hmm. and God wanted welling women to skillful welling women. And when you're skillful and you're welling women, they paid them. That's what the Bible say. I'm not talking about what Torah say. I'm, I'm talking about the scriptures. That's what the Bible say that God called the welling women that were skillful and they paid for them. That's like death. That's like moan. That's like something that has uh, dramatically happened. That's like us going in because we want to see or we want we want to see the manifestations of what we prayed for, what we believed in. And today, I am at that place of that's what God is doing in my life. Manifestation is, is, is happening. And it's like blowing my mind. But I know the enemy got some tactics. But it won't work. So I have to continuously stay in my word. Continuously do what it is that God is calling me to do. Do what it is that God is uh, calling you to do. Um, and just being on one accord. And, and 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 having sisters that say that they pray, that genuinely pray and covers mm -hmm. what it is that he wants us to cover. Because the enemy is after our kids. But mm -hmm. I denounce it, I bind mm -hmm. it, and I send it back to the pits of hell because what is attached to me, he can't have. And I know we about our father's business, and I know that we don't play when it comes to our kids. Right. 
Amen. So I would get out of your way and let the Holy Spirit use you. Amen. Amen. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for today, Lord God. Lord, we thank you, Father, for yet another opportunity, Lord, to give you glory, honor, and praise. Lord, we thank you for health, life, and strength, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, that your mercies are new, Lord, every single morning. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for this meeting this evening, Lord God. Thank you for our sister Tara, Father God, and her obedience, Lord God, to the words that you've provided, Father God, to the, to the assignment, Father God, that you've instructed her to do, Lord God. We thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, for everything, Father God, that not only will you continue to do in her life and in her ministry, Lord God, we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, that you are covering her family, Lord God, that you are covering her children, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for meeting every single need, Father God, in her life, Lord God. Your word tells us, Lord God, that our God shall supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So we thank you this evening, Lord God, for our sister Tara, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for all the prayers, Father God, that have already gone forth, Lord God. We thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, that the atmosphere, Lord God, has already been set this evening, Lord God. We thank you right now, Father God, that your word tells us, Lord God, where two or three are gathered in your name, Lord God, that you are in the midst. So we welcome your presence this evening, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, that your word also tells us, Lord God, that if any two of us, Lord God, to touch and agree on anything here on earth, Lord God, according to your will, that it shall be done, Father God, by your Father in heaven, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord God. Before we come to you, Father God, and ask you for anything, Lord God, we just thank you for everything, Lord God. Thank you for being Alpha and Omega. Lord God. Thank you for being our beginning and our end, Lord God. We thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, for just every single thought that you think towards us, Lord God. Your children, Father God, your word tells us, Lord God, that the thoughts that you think for us, Lord God, are thoughts of good and not of evil, Lord God, to give us a future and a hope, Lord God. So we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, for the love that you have for us, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for salvation, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, that you look beyond every single fault, Lord God. You look beyond our mistakes, Lord God. We thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, that you still use us, Lord God, beyond ourselves, Lord God, because we know, Lord, that it's not about us, Lord God, but all glory goes to your name, Lord God. Lord, we lift up, Father God, every prayer request this evening, Lord God. We lift up your son Marcus to you, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we ask and pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you give him guidance, Lord God. Give him wisdom, Father God, as it relates to the business, Father God, that you birthed in him, Lord God. Your word tells us, Lord God, that if any of us, Lord God, act, lacks wisdom, Lord, that we can ask it of you, the Father, Father God, and you give it liberally, Lord God, without reproach, Lord God. So I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, that whatever vision you have given him for his business, Lord God, help him, Father God, to know in this hour, Father God, that the steps of a good man man are ordered by the Lord God and you delight in his way Lord God so everything that you're instructing him to do Father God as it relates to business Lord God we thank you right now Father God that you're giving him an ear Father God to hear what it is Father God that you would have him to do Lord God show him Father God the people that you need to need him to be connected to Lord God help him to know Father God that he could do nothing without you Lord God and allow him Father God to just lean and trust and depend on you Father God Lord we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, that your word says that you who promises is faithful, Lord. So whatever business idea, Father God, whatever you have promised him, Lord God, concerning his life, Lord God, concerning his purpose, Lord God, concerning business, we know by faith in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, that it is already done, Lord God. We bind any and everything, Father God, that may try to come against what it is, Father God, that you've placed in his spirit to do in this season, Lord God, because your word tells us, Lord, 
Lord, that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper, Lord God, and every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, Lord, that it shall be condemned, that this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and our righteousness is from you, Lord God. So I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you give him the confidence that he needs, Father God, as it relates to business, Father God. Let him not be conformed to this world, Lord God, but to be he transformed by the renewing of his mind, Lord. I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus that by faith, Lord God, you're already downloading instructions into his mind, Father God, and his spirit, Father God. You're already downloading, Lord God, every single thing that he needs, Father God, in this season, Father God, in his life, Lord God. And we know, Father God, without a shadow of a doubt, Father God, that you make up the difference, Lord God. Whatever it is that he doesn't have, Father God, we still can trust and believe, Father God, that you will provide every single thing that he needs, Father God. If you called him to it, Lord God, we know by faith, Lord God, that you will give him the wisdom and the strength to do it, Father God. We pray for his health, Father God. We know you to be Jehovah Jireh, Lord God. So I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, that whatever health challenges, Lord God, he may be facing, Lord God. I thank you right now, Father God, that he can lean on you, Lord God, that he can look to you, Father God, that he can look to the hills from which comes his help, Father Father God. All of his help comes from you, Lord God. So we thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, that you will give him peace in this hour, Father God, that you will give him strength in this hour, Father God, that you will give him every single thing that he needs, Father God, to go forth, Lord God, not only in his business, Father God, but in confidence in his health, Father God, that by your stripes, Lord God, he is healed. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we lift up our sister Vanessa Francis to you this evening, Lord God. You know, Father God, everything, Father God, that she's dealing with in her body, Lord God. And we thank you right now, Father God, that there's nothing outside of your hands, that there's nothing outside of your reach, Lord God, that there's nothing outside of your power, Father God. Lord, we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, that as you bring to our remembrance, Lord God, the woman with the issue of blood, Father God, she thought in her mind, if she could but touch the hem of your garment, Lord God, that she shall be made whole. So we speak right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, over our sister Vanessa's life, Lord God, that her faith, Lord God, will rise up, Lord God, in this season, Lord God, that no matter what the doctors say, Lord God, no matter what she feels in her body, Father God, we know by faith, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, that when we hope in you, Lord God, when we put our confidence in you, Lord Father, when we, when we trust in you, Father God, we know, Father God, that you will bring it to pass, Lord God. So I praise you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, because I know you to be a healer, and I know that you are no respecter of persons, Lord God. So I thank you for what you're going to do in Vanessa's life, Lord God. I thank you for the testimony, Lord God, that's going to come forth, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that her healing, Father God, will, be, will glorify you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We lift up our sister Cherie Allen, Father God. She's praying for restoration of her marriage, Lord God. Your word even says, Lord God, that it is not good for man to be a father, God, but that you will send him a helpmate, Father God. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, that whatever has come up against their marriage, Lord God, whatever it is, Father God, that the enemy may have tried to plant in their marriage, Lord God, to bring division, Lord God, to bring strife, Lord God, to bring confusion, Father God, to bring to bring anything, Father God, that's not like you, Lord God. We cast it down right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. I thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, that even for her, Father God, you're giving her a heart and a mind, Father God, to continue to pray, Lord God, to continue to trust you, Lord God, because we know, Father God, that you are in control of all things, Lord God. I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father Father God, that you remind her, Father God, to not grow weary and well-doing, Lord God, because your word says that in due season, Lord God, that she will reap a harvest if she faints not. Lord, your word says that the, the, that the, that the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much, Lord God. So I pray, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, for her strength in prayer, Father God, as she's praying for her marriage, Lord God, as she's praying for her husband, Lord God, as she's praying, Father God, for the restoration, Father God, of her union, Lord God, I pray that you will continue to give her the strength that she needs, Lord God, to trust you, Lord God, to lean on you, Lord God, to know, Father God, that 
that the king's heart is in your hand, Father God, and you could turn it whichever way that you, that you wish, Lord God. I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, that you will reward her for her faithfulness, Lord God. I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, that whatever has come up against their marriage, Father God, that it is null and void, Father God, in this hour, by the, by the power of by your power, Father God, and your blood, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I thank you right now, Father God, that you are bringing the restoration, Father God, that your daughter desires, Lord God. I thank you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that not only will the marriage be restored according to your will, Father God, but that it'll be greater than what it was before, Lord God. It'll be stronger than what it was before, Lord God. I pray right now, Father God, if, if repentance is needed, Father God, I ask and pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, that you give them the heart to repent, Father God. I pray, Father God, where there's a need for forgiveness, Father God, that you give them the heart, Lord God, to forgive. I pray, Father God, where the love is lost, Father God, or the commitment is lost, Lord God, that you will remind them, Father God, what you promised them, Lord God, that you will remind them, Father God, of what they vowed before you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. I thank you right now, Father God, that weeping may endure for a night, Lord God, but your word tells us that joy comes in the morning, Lord God. So I thank you right now, Father God, that you hear your daughter's tears, Lord God, that you know the way that she takes, Lord God, that you hear her prayers, Father God, and your word tells us, Father God, that when that when we pray, Father God, trusting and believing, Father God, that you will hear us in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. I thank you, Father God, for every single person, Father God, that is on this live this evening, Lord God. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, that whatever it is, Father God, that they may be in need of in their lives, Lord God, that you will provide, Lord God. I pray, Father God, for the men on the line, Father God. I thank you right now, Father God, that you are reminding them, Father God, of their purpose, Lord God. God. Your word tells us, Lord God, that before the foundations of the world, Lord God, you knew us, Lord God. You knew them, Lord God, and you ordained them, Lord God, to be prophets to the nations, Lord God. So I bind every word, Father God, that has been spoken, Lord God, against their lives, Lord God. Any curses, Lord God, anything, Lord God, that has come up against them, Father God, I speak against you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Your word says, Lord God, that we have power and authority and, and dominion over the enemy, Lord God. So we say right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, that, that the men, God, that your sons, Lord God, that they are strong in you, Father God, that they are wise, Father God, that you are ordering their steps, Lord God, that they're doing everything, Father God, that you've called them to do, Father God, that they're being the head of their households, Lord God, that they're leading in the way, Father God, that the Holy Spirit, Father God, is, is, is guiding them to lead, Father God. We come against anything and everything, Father God, that tries to come in and infiltrate, Father God, the mind of your son, Lord God, to turn them away from you, Lord God, to, to, to take them down a path, Father God, that you did not design for them, Lord God. We come against that this evening in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you right now, Father God, that you love them, Lord God, with an everlasting love, Lord God, and nothing can separate them from the love that you have for them, Lord God. Nothing can take them or pluck them, Lord God, out of your hands, Father God. Your word tells them to be strong and courageous, Lord God. So we thank you right now, Father God, that where they are weak, Father God, you are strong, that you're giving them every single thing that they need, Father God, that you're helping them, Father God, to move in a way, Father God, that is pleasing to you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you're crowning their heads, Lord God, with wisdom, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, that your sons, Father God, or an example, Father God, to other men, Father God, that they will look to them, Father God, as mentors, Lord God, that they will look to them, Father God, as, as surrogate fathers, Lord God, that they will look to them, Father God, and glorify you, Father God, because of what you're doing in their lives, Lord God. We pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, for this nation, Father God. We know, Father God, that you are in control, Father God, that you sit high, Lord God, and you look low. So we thank you right now, Father God, that trouble don't last always. We thank you right now, Father God, that you still have the victory, Lord God. With everything that's going on in this hour, Lord God, we know where our help comes from, Lord God. Your word tells us in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So I speak protection tonight, Father God. I speak protection over every single 
single person's life, Lord God. I thank you right now, Father God, that we re that we can rest in you, Father God. I thank you that you are our hope. You are our peace, Lord God. You give us a peace, Father God, that surpasses all understanding, Father God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, that <laughs> you who promises, Lord God, is faithful and you're trustworthy. With everything, Father God, that we have, with everything, Father God, that we face, Lord God, you are the one person, you are the one thing, Lord God, that never changes. You are the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. And because we know you to be the same God, Father God, we know that we have victory. We have the victory, God, in every area of our lives, whether it's health, whether it's financial, Lord God, whether it's mental, whether it's emotional, Lord God, in our spirits, in our spirits, in our spirits, we can be confident of this very thing that you who began a good work in each and every one of us, Lord, that you shall complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord God. We thank you this evening for who you are. I thank you, Father God, that even the unspoken prayer requests, Lord God, that you've already met the need. I thank you, Father God, that you always hear us, Lord God. And because we know, Father God, that you always hear us by faith, Lord God, we know that we have the petitions of our hearts according to your will. I give you glory. We give you glory. We give you all the honor. There's nobody like you. There's nobody greater. There's nobody stronger. You are God. You are God all by yourself. You are God all by yourself. And we can lean on you. We can lean on you, God. <laughs> Thank you for your spirit that leads and guides us in all truth. It's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. By faith we count it all joy and we count it all done. Amen. 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 Father, I thank you. I give you the glory. I give you the honor, God. I give you the honor, God, because you are so good to us, God. You are good to us when we not good to ourselves, oh, Heavenly Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, I ask that there be no backlash or no retaliation on this teach in the name of jesus god god because she only did your will god she only did what you allowed her to do oh heavenly father oh heavenly father i thank you for letting her cover marriages i thank you for letting her cover uh help i i thank you for letting her uh uh speak what it is that you have gave given her to speak oh heavenly father oh heavenly father we lift you up god we magnify your name god because we know how good you are god god somebody didn't get up this morning god god somebody's standing in a grievous uh line oh heavenly father prepare for a barrier god but god i ask that you give them strict like never before god if you gave it to me god give it to them oh heavenly father because you are no respecter of uh, god oh heavenly father oh heavenly father i thank you and i praise you and i glorify your name god because you are so good god you are so worthy god god all we gotta do is just work worship you god all we have to do is just get into a position and call out your name god god you won't give us instructions when man won't give us instruction god you won't walk away from us god if we draw near to you god because that's what your word told us god if we draw near to you god and we turn from our wicked ways you are direct our path god God, you also said that we look to the hills which come our help our help come from you god so we're leaning and depending on you god and we'll be so careful to give you the honor and the glory, God. Do with us, do with us what we can't do for ourselves, God. God, we're crying out to you, God. God, we're seeking your face, God. God, we 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 we're pushing away our place, God, because we want to see the manifestation. Cover our kids, cover our young men, God. God, the ones that have wavering it and straight away, God, bring them back to their first love, which is you, God. 
God, I know that if the parents have taught them how to love you, God. I know that the parents have, have, have told them to get to know you for themselves, God. Because somebody did it for us, God. God, do it like never before, God. And we'll be careful to you the honor and the glory, God. God, because we can't do it by ourselves. We need you in this hour, God. We need you in this hour, God. Even for the intercessors, God. Give them strength like never before, God. Because God, there are welling women there that, that, that are, are seeking your face, God. Want to hear your instruction, God. They're not looking to the left or to the right. They're not even worried about what nobody say, God. It's only you. You. Because we love you that much, God. Because you hung and died and you bled on that cross for us. Our sins. And you didn't say a mumbling word. You didn't say a mumbling word. You didn't say a mumbling word, God. Let them draw to you like never before, God. Let them hold on to your unchanging hand, God. Even when they can't see you, God, they can trace you, God. Because you are there. You are there in the midst of the confusion. You are there in the midst of the wrongful. You are there. You are no respectable, God. Even these young men, God, drawn to you, God, drawn. Even when they don't understand, God, draw them to you, God. Let them turn from their wicked ways, God. Let them bow down to you and ask you, what must they do to change, God? You send them they angel, God. You send them they help, God. Because when you do it, it's well done. God, I'm I'm pleading with you, God. I'm begging you, God. Because so many have lost their way, God. So many of them don't know what love is, God. So many of them thinking that they forgot about God. But you didn't forget about us, God. Don't forget about them, God. And we'll be so careful to, to give you the honor and the glory, God. God, we praise you. We magnify your name, God, because you are so worthy, God. You are so worthy, God. I'm a mother crying out, God. Tish is a mother crying out for our kids, God. Keep them. Keep their minds stayed up on you, God. Even when they don't know, God, if they just call out Jesus, you'll hear them. You'll hear they cry. You'll hear a mother cry, God, because that kid they may, may have wandered off, God. They may have left, God. Bring them back, God. Bring them back. Let them turn from their wicked ways, God. Let the parents love on them, God. Because some things I don't understand, God, but I know that you are loving, God. I know that you are, you are God that is not of confusion, God. So many kids don't understand why their parents say, don't do this and don't do that, God. Because it was instilled in them, God. They only want to see their kids do better than them, God. And I'm one of them parents, God. Give them, give my kids what I didn't have, God. Show them, God, like never before, God. Not only the kids, these men, God. So many of them are lost, God. So many of them don't know they rightful place, God. Show them, God. Show them, God. 
It take a strong woman to pray, God, and seek your face, God. That don't even, that's not even asking for anything, God. Do it, God. I know you will, God. I have that faith in you, God. You never left me. You never left me, God. I might have left you, but you never left me. You never left me. You never threw me to the side, God. You picked me up, you turned me around, and you placed my feet on solid ground. And I'm grateful for it. I'm so grateful. Do it, God. I know you will, God. It will be so careful to give you the, the honor and the glory, God. You are mighty God. You are mighty God. You speak to these men, God. Speak to their belly. Speak to their inner man, God. Let them turn from their wicked ways and take their rightful place in their own, God. Take their rightfully place in their kids' life, God. God, all the hurt, all the bitter, all the pain, God. Let them release it to you as of this day, God. They have to release it. They can't hold on to it no more, God. We thank you, God. We thank you. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. God, you are awesome, God. Have your way in this hour, God. Even for the ones that are leaders, God. Let them lead with you, God. Let them have that love in their heart like you have, God. You was a God of of that God pay love. And we'll be so careful to give you the honor and the glory. It is so. In Jesus' name, God. I decree that I declare and I proclaim, God, that victory will be theirs, God. For the ones that are listening, God, that has husband, boys, sons, uncles, daddies, they are, that they'll seek your face like never before. Because that's who the enemy is after, God. He's after our men, God. They don't know they rightfully placed, God. But show them, God. Show them where they rightfully placed is, God. In a home, a family, God. Do it. Do it, God. Do it, God. Do it. I know that you can because you got all power. You have all power, God. You gave me the authority to decree and declare thing, God. And I'm decreeing and I'm declaring, God. Because I have sons and grandsons, God. I want to see them take they rightfully place, God. I have a daddy and I have a brother, God. I have brothers. Let them take they rightfully place, God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You're worthy, God. You are so worthy, God. You are worthy, God. You are so worthy, God. You are worthy, God. I just want to see them take their rightfully place. So many of them are hurt. So many of them are wounded, God. But if you got, if you grabbed me and you held on to me and you gave me directions to go in, God, I know you're no respectable, God. I know you'll do it for them, God. Keep their mind, God, because that's what they after. That's what the enemy is after. They mind, God. They don't know which way to go, which way to turn, God. 
But let them turn to you, God. Let them trust you, God. Even when they can't trust you, God. Because you said that we may walk through a valley of shadow of them, but we feel no evil because you are right there with us. You want us to go through that valley so we can give you the glory and the honor, God. So in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy, God. You're so worthy, God. You're worthy, God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Because you did it for me, God. And I'm no respectable person. I'm no respectable mom, God. And so many kids get killed. And so many parents that are burying their child, God. Intervene like never before, God. Because it's so hard when you walk to that casket and see your baby lying in there, God. Let them turn from their wicked ways, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Thank you. It is so in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm I'm so full because it's just so many kids that's getting killed. It's so many parents that are burying their kids. And kids should be burying their parents. Even when I buried my mama, God gave me the strength to do it because I couldn't do it on my own. I couldn't do it on my own. That is so hard to see somebody in the casting that you love. Grab hold to your kids. Grab hold to your parents. I don't know that you love them. But God love them the most. Just ask him. And he'll do it. He will do it. He will do it. Amen. Yeah, I have a good night. Thank you for the, the those that have joined. And we'll see y'all next Thursday.